Samurai just came out and it significantly improves on the visual object tracking performance from Meta SAM2 model. Let's see how robustly it tracks objects. If you're new to my channel, I have a website at kevinwoodrobotics.com where I have a bunch of resources on robotics and computer vision. So check it out and subscribe to learn more. So Samurai stands for SAM-based, unified, robust zero-shot visual tracker with motion, aware, instance-level memory. So for those that have been following Meta's SAM model, you'll know that there's some issues with it. So one thing is that there's poor tracking during rapid object movements, and also there's poor tracking when there's complex interactions such as occlusion or similar objects. So here you can see this is a model comparing the SAM2 and the Samurai model. So you can see that it's trying to track this guy running with a lot of different things happening. There's occlusion, there's a lot of people that look similar, a lot of complex scenes, it's fast moving, and it still tracks the person robustly. So we'll be taking a look at a few more examples to see how well it does compared to the SAM2 model. So here you can see this is a case study of the SAM2. So you're gonna notice that we're gonna have GT in green, which is the ground truth. The yellow is going to be the ambiguous prediction, and then the red is the incorrect prediction. So we're going to see where SAM2 fails. But notice in this case, we have penguins that look a lot similar to each other, so it could confuse the model. But you can see here initially that it's trying to track this third penguin here, right? So if I click to the next frame, you see that this penguin here is starting to move past it from behind. And right here is overlapping, right? So let's see what's going to happen. Now once the penguin from the back goes over, is bound is tracking this other one that passed by. So the correct one should have been the one in front, but now it got this one in the back. And you can see that once it passes through, it starts tracking the wrong penguin and lost track of the original one. So this is a known problem for Sam that the Samurai model tends to address. So here you can see this is another case study where Sam2 fails in a complex and fast moving scene. But you can see here that we're trying to track this biker here. And you can see in the next frame, we start to get something that's ambiguous because now the car is actually blocking the person on the bike. And we go to one more scene, it actually starts tracking the car instead, which is a completely different object. And you can see once that comes out, it's supposed to be tracking this biker, but it's still getting the car. And then you can see that it totally just lost track of what it's supposed to be capturing. So you can see right here, this is the architecture of the Samurai model. So what's happening is you have the raw sequence that goes into an image encoder and then a memory attention to the mask decoder, and then the output is going to be the predicted mask. And you can see that there's also affinity and the object head. So all of these things go into like a feedback loop into the memory bank, which then gets passed into this part that's called the memory selection. So this memory selection part is a key part that has like the temporal aspect that allows it to get some information of past information. So whether it's good or bad, it has that information and then it helps it predict the future location of the objects. So at the core of it, they've implemented a common filter, which they take some previous states to predict the future states. So here's a demo of the Samurai model trying to track dancers. You can see that this really fast moving scenes with the people constantly crossing over each other. So this is really good for tracking people. Um, you'll see a demo later on with it tracking people playing football, but let's go ahead and take a look at that. So for those trying to do any sort of sports analytics, this is perfect for that. You can see that it's trying to track this player number 26 and throughout this whole scene that you see here, it tracks it pretty robustly. So right here, you can see these are the benchmark numbers for the Samurai model compared with the other models. But you can see here that the numbers are all pretty high. But again, like any other model, you want to test it out for your own and see if it works for your application. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.